In this video, I just wanted to do a quick walkthrough of my new free Angel Dust plugin. So that's a new um, plugin you can download from the WitchPig website. As you can see, it's a pitch shifting dual delay, but um, it's basically a pitch shifter with some extra um, modulated delay on it. And with the pitch shifting, you can split it up on two sides. So you can have a different um, harmonies on the left than you can on the, on the right. Um, if you need any help on it, if you can't remember any of the things I'm saying here, you can just click on the help there. It gives you a brief instructions. So you can open it there as well and shut it. If you click on the Witch Pig uh, logo there, it will open up the Witch Pig website, witchpig.co.uk, and there's some tutorials and um, there's some help links to help videos from there if you're having problems installing it, especially on Macs, which can be a bit of a pain. Um, so just going briefly through the controls, you can see here on the left hand side, you've got pitch shell. So it's going up seven semitones. So it's a fifth higher um, pitch shifting on the left and on the right, it's going up 12. So it's an octave higher. Um, you can center it here. So it, it will be more one side or the other. Um, mix, I found best for guitar works about um, half. Um, otherwise it gets a bit too overpowering, but you experiment yourself. Um, obviously use the delay the delay and the feedback to um, control the length of the delay and how much it feeds back, how much it's applied. I'll show you some different examples of using this differently in a second. And then use the LFM frequency will affect the, um, how much the delay is modulated. So the, the LFO is um, basically um, low frequency oscillator. It will basically move backwards and forwards for frequency. Um, which is boosted, so it'll give slight tonal variations to to the um, to the delay, making it a bit more interesting. Okay, so what I did start with is I'll just play you um, a little bit of the first example here, where it's just got a bit of plain guitar. I'll just play a little bit of that, and then I'll put this on so you can see what it's doing. I'll just bypass it first. Okay, I'll just put it sample one on then. Okay, so I, um, another way you can use it is if you don't want to use the delay on it, I don't want this one. If you don't want to use the delay on it, um, what you could do is just um, turn the delay right down, turn the feedback right down. So here the feedback's as low as it can go. It's sort of minimal on the delay. If I'm works a little bit on it, and then I'm using it in this instance, basically, it's an octava. So it's just going down low, whereas the one before it was going up on one side, an octave, they're both going down 12. So this is uh, basically an octava with a tiny little bit of modulation. Well, these are turned right down, so it's not really modulating it at all. It's like minimal delay, but you can hear it a little bit. So it's not quite a straight octava, but Pretty much. So I'll just play you a little bit of this without the guitar as well. Let's make sure it's in the right place to do it. So again, I'll just um, bypass this, play you a little bit of this, and then I'll play it with the effect on it. <laughs> okay, and I'll play it again with the octaving effect. Okay, so that's one, one way you can use it. 
Um, another way is if you want to get like a really sort of um, almost like a shimmer delay type effect, you're using more delays. If delays turned up, the feedback is on maximum and then you've got some uh, and then it's changing on that so it's modulating with delays a bit and then on one side I've got it that it's got nothing at all and then on the other side I've got it so that it's um, a high octave so with a lot of delay and high octave you get a kind of yes yeah, sort of like a sim shimmer delay so I've called it sparkle on this but it's something like that I'll, so again I'll play it with you I'll bypass it, play just a bit of a guitar, and then I'll play it so you can see what it's doing, the effect. Okay, I just noticed I had that on one side. It doesn't really matter. So I'll play it now with the bypass off, and then you can hear what it's doing. Okay, so a step on from that, if you want to use it differently, is what you could do is you can always um, modulate these different controls. So if you have a look under here, you'll see they should show up here. So you've got balance, delay, feedback, LFO. So you can tick these, then you can start modulating them. You could um, put them in with the BPM of the track. You can move them around. You can move them up and down for different sections. Um, so that would work particularly well with something like so you could do the pitch which is going to make it sound a bit mental um you could modulate the center so you move it side to side or um yeah you could um vary vary the frequency and the lfo so the lfo is kind of modulating itself anyway that's going backwards and forwards but that's one idea you can do to extend it um another option is to use more than one at the same time. So what I'll do, I'll, I'll give an example. I'll just give an example of that. So if I say, let's do it quick and easy, I'm just gonna duplicate this track. So this is the one we've just been doing. So I've got two there now. And what I'm gonna do is I've got two for the sparkle ones is I'm gonna put one hard left, one hard right. Now on the original one, you've got the sparkle pitch L, pitch R. What I'm going to do on this one is I'm going to do some different harmonies. So you're going to get a different combination of harmonies. So it's the first one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a major third. So this would be a fourth. So it's four semitones up on it. And then I'm going to add a seventh. So if I move this up to 10, then this is going to be a seventh on here. So we'll try this now. We've got one lot applied on one side and one lot applied on the other. So this could be an interesting effect. Try this. Okay, so hopefully that's given you some ideas of some different ways you can use it. You can experiment with automating different controls. Um, you can use more than one at the same time. And you can use it more subtly as well. Just turn down the mix, use it as a bit of a background version. Use smaller delays and you can even just use it as a straight pitch shifter, octa 
or octaver, or you could just you know, just add straight harmonies onto it as well without any delay if you want to use it that way. Or you could just leave the um, pitch on zero and use it as a, as a kind of modulated delay, a sort of panning modulated delay. Um, so yeah, hopefully there's a lot of different ways you can use it creatively. It'd be interesting to see how people do use it. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, download it for free from witchpig.co.uk and hopefully you'll have some fun with it. Cheers.